Today we're talking about making a base mesh for sculpting purposes. If you're looking for a way to make a character that you don't have to do sculpting on, uh, I have a video on the skin modifier method for making a character, linked up top in the card and down below in the description. But today we're going to be making this, something a lot more simplistic and something that doesn't really work on its own, but will give you a really good basis for uh, using in sculpt mode. So you can use this and, and sculpt however you want on top of it. And that's what we're going to be making today using the meta balls. To get started by pressing shift A, we're going to add a meta ball and you can add a ball, a capsule, a plane, an ellipsoid or a cube. We're going to start with a capsule because that's most like the shape of a uh, body to begin with. So we're going to press R and Y to lock it to the Y direction and we're going to rotate at 90 degrees so it's facing up then G and Z to lift it up a little bit and that's the basis of the body. You can scale it a little bit as to how you want it to be and you then duplicate it by Shift D, you raise it up a little and you scale it down. That'll make a decent enough neck. Again, this is more of a rough shape creation that we're doing than actual modeling itself the detailing and the real character creation will happen in sculpting but we're going to be talking about that a different time so we've got a body we've got a neck uh we can now add a different meta ball uh, a ball because the hat is going to be a round shape obviously and we can feel that is a little clunky right it's a fairly low resolution so what we'll do is we'll go in here and viewport resolution we can put to something like 0.1 and we'll immediately see a lot more detail and we can also see that these um, need to be a little bit smaller for the neck because this is quite too big then maybe the head also needs to be a little lower down and making the neck shape with these metal balls is a bit iffy so if it doesn't really work that well know that that's okay because again we're going to do all the actual modeling in sculpt mode this does also feel a little bit too much like a capsule still, so let's scale it in the y direction, scale it down a little bit so that it feels a little bit more uh, proportionate to being a human body. Move this up a little bit and add a new capsule. We can move that up, move that to the right, scale it down in everything but the x-axis by uh, pressing S to scale and then shift X to lock it to the y and z directions. Uh, scale it down, move it up a little. It might be a little bit on the long side, but I think we'll be fine. So we copy that over, press G and X to move it over to the other side. We can then select these, copy them again with Shift D, move them down, and then individually you select them by pressing the little black highlights around them. Uh, rotate this in the Y direction until it's something that you like and then move it down to be the legs. And this more or less gives you something to work with, again, to sculpt on. Will you be able to use this as a normal character? No, no, definitely not. You could still uh, add some feet if you really wanted to. Once you're happy with how your base mesh looks, you can select all and by pressing F3 bring up this menu. And when you start typing the word convert, you can see convert to mesh. If you select that, it changes the meta balls to an actual mesh object. So now if we go into wireframe mode, you can see the topology uh, is also just quite good to begin with. And you can use this as the base for your sculpting. So for instance, make some quick eye sockets um put in some eyes make some eyelids over it um pull out a a, a fun little nose make a, a cavity for the mouth and well just make nightmare if you will like this uh sculpting is a, a process that's going to take a little bit longer than we have for uh in this video but as you can see it's uh, pretty quick and easy to make a base mesh to be able to use in sculpting again if you want to avoid sculpting and you just want a low poly uh, a little bit of a smoother character you can use a different technique using the skin modifier as linked down below in the description